Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a oracle card reading for the month of September. So we're diving into the major theme and we're also diving into what we can focus on growing and what we can be safe to let go of in the month of September. So grab a notebook, grab a cup of tea. I've got mine. It's a little parrot cup. I want to show you guys that. It's a kind of ode to Thanos who's right now nesting in her box. And I hope she stays there for the duration of the reading. All right, let's get started. What I'm going to do is shuffle the cards. I've got two decks, as always, my Kuan Yin Oracle. And then I've also got, what's it called? The Wild Unknown Animal Spirit by Kim Kranz. I think that's how you pronounce it. But for the major theme, I am going to use the Kuan Yin Oracle. So I'm just going to give it a little shuffle and call upon my own divine higher self energy. To help share this information with me and anybody watching the major theme of September, what we should know. All right, I'm kind of getting guided just to do a spread, which I haven't done in a while. Usually I just flip the card, but we'll go here. All right, this is a major theme. All right, we've got Tai Chi Rising, and I hope that's focusing. Okay, so Tai Chi Rising is actually a really beautiful synchronicity because we've just come out of the month of August and probably, like most of you know, the most potent time during the month of August was that Lionsgate portal, that energy of Sirius streaming down onto the earth plane, those photons interacting with our energy field, all that good stuff was happening. And for the month of August, I have been doing Lionsgate portal readings and this card came up quite a lot in regards to what the portal had activated within those people. So Tai Chi Rising is basically like an spiritual acceleration. Uh, your own aura, your own electromagnetic field has been growing with great gusto as a result of connecting consciously with the Lionsgate portal. And this can be likened to going from like a V4 to a V8. So, you know, you just put your foot on the pedal a little bit and all of a sudden you've gone from zero to a hundred, like smack bang. When you're used to going from zero to a hundred by moving through quite a few gears first in a slow way. So because September is a month where we're adjusting to this kind of spiritual upgrade that we've received from the Lionsgate portal, it's a really important to be aware of your nervous system because it probably has been affected. So you could have been on either end of the spectrum while you were, where you were quite lethargic and needing to sleep a lot, or you couldn't fall asleep at all and you had all these ideas and insights streaming down. Either way, your nervous system takes time to adjust to those new levels of spiritual potency, those new particles, photons flowing throughout your being and interacting with the energy field. It was really important then in the month of September to do a few things to not put too much on your plate and also make as much time as you can for grounding. And I know I talk about this a lot, probably in every reading, but it's the most readily available free spiritual practice that we can do just barefoot on the earth, 20 or 30 minutes a day, just allowing that beautiful electron rich exchange to occur within us. And that just allows, you know, there's a higher intelligence at play here that your body, your cells, it knows what to do. You just sit there lovingly and mindfully and gratefully accepting that energy exchange and just allow it to do its work within you. But yeah, uh, is there anything else I need to say about that? Yeah, just, just because you've had this influx of energy doesn't mean that you're automatically got a high level of consciousness or anything like that. You still need to be aware of what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're speaking, what you're doing because you've got that influx of spiritual energy that came from August and we're kind of integrating it in September. You have to be really aware of, not so much what you're thinking and feeling, although that's really important, but what you're saying or what you're doing because your whole attractor field has had a sort of upgrade in a sense. So you're attracting like energies. You're attracting more of what you're doing and what you're saying. So just be really careful with your words over the month of September. Sometimes we have a thought and it automatically comes out of our mouth. So the thought could be, oh man, I feel so fat. Or... 
um, man, I'm always tired, whatever it is, or oh, I'm an idiot, all those thoughts that are made manifest through sound, through your speaking. Be really careful with that. I'm not going to say freak out. <laughs> Don't worry if you're thinking it because when you speak it, it becomes more of an amplification. So if you could find that pause between thinking it and saying it, that will be really, really powerful for you uh, just to help integrate this energy and not attract anything that you don't want to attract. Just be more mindful, more aware, and more responsible of this growing energy field as a result of the Lionsgate portal. So yeah, that's coming through. I'm going to move on to these cards now to find a card or a card to be revealed that represents what we can grow, what it's safe to focus on. So, oh, okay, we've got Otter. Now, this actually came up in readings too for people during the, uh, for the MP3, Lionsgate readings. Basically, Otter's that beautiful, playful energy, that childlike wonder and awe energy coming through. So it's what you can focus more on in the month of September is more playing, less doing things because you're going to get an outcome and more doing things just because it feels good to do it. You know, for example, you go for your daily walk and you know, I've been guilty of this. I'm going for a walk because it's good for my mental health because I burn calories. Like it's got this outcome rather than going for a walk. Like, you know, if you have a child and you go for a walk with a child, uh, it usually takes like forever to get 1k because they stop and they look at the flowers and they ask questions and they're in wonder and they're in awe and they're just absorbing life around them. So yeah, you're being really encouraged to do that in the month of September. I was going to say August, but the month of September, just play, do things for the sheer joy of doing it. Even if you have to make time in your schedule to do that, Kids don't really make time in their schedule to play, but as adults, we have responsibilities. So if you can schedule in some just time for joy and awe, and otter as well is that energy that is about a loving bond and a connection. So if you can pull someone that you really love spending time with and get them in on that, get them in on that playful, loving energy and just doing things for the sheer joy of doing it, definitely do that. And also this thoughts coming to mind, that you have one person in your life that brings that energy to the table. They're just that joyful, loving, kind of adventurous, uh, off the cuff kind of person. Call them this month and see if you can connect with them a little bit because they're gonna be really, just really valuable for that growing energy field that's coming up from that major theme. They're just, you know, be careful who you surround yourself with, I guess is the core meaning of that and surround yourself with those people who are naturally childlike in nature, not childish, childlike. So I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to shuffle and ask finally for a card of what we can let go of, what we can safely do less of in the month of September. Ooh, all right. Octopus. So, I love this octopus message. The octopus signifies a beautifully intelligent, perceptive, intuitive mind, but often coupled with the lack of boundaries. And when there's no boundaries, it leads to kind of like messy situations. This is coming up in regards to the conversations that you have in the month of September. And it's funny that this is coming up because I had a th thought earlier today that I want to make it clear with the people in my life set firm boundaries that I'm not always available to talk about COVID. I'm not always available to talk about the shit that's going on in the world, all the horrifying stories. I have to tell people I'm not available to talk about that right now. I, For one, people that you meet and if you start talking about COVID, you have no idea how much time they've already spent thinking about that today and what path that has led them down in regards to their job and their finances and the safety of their loved ones. Like we don't know how much time they've spent in that cycle of thought and they might've just gotten out of it. So when you meet with them again, you say, Hey, how about this? What's happening on the news? And you start them on their spiral again. So I'm not saying that you're doing that, but just be aware of those boundaries. And if you're like me and you feel like you need to make it clear to people in your life, I'm not available for that conversation right now. It's safe to do that. It's safe to do that forever. It's safe to do that anytime, not just in the month of September, but this, this idea is coming up. It's now time to 
focus our attention on different things and not always be there on the negative. So have those boundaries up. And you, you are essentially, if you're watching this, you are that beautiful, wonderful, perceptive, intuitive, empathetic mind and people's crap can get stuck to you. Uh, so you have to create those boundaries. So just be really careful about the time that you're spending with people and just be aware of how you feel after you spend time with them and the conversations that you're having with them or the social media that you're interacting with. And this comes back to Otter, right? You were being, we were being encouraged in the month of September to connect with those beautiful, high energy, adventurous, playful, loving people in our lives and reach out to them. And that's really important. It's part of what's going on in the month of September as we integrate the energies from the Lionsgate portal. We have to be kind of that standing guard to our energy field and doesn't mean that we have to be have walk around with our eyes closed and delusional to what's happening in the world that's not the case you can stay up to date and aware but that doesn't mean that every person you interact with you have to have the same conversation again and again and again be really clear in your boundaries so you're not getting stuck in the kind of same patterns and loops and you're taking care of that energy field that's growing um, yeah so I think I'll leave that there. I've been talking for a while and I want to open my package that I just got. For some reason, every reading I do, there's a phone call or a knock at the door, but we continue anyway. Um, yes, as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, apparently, most of you, most of my viewers aren't subscribed. So I would encourage you to consider subscribing if you do enjoy the content and then also consider going over to Instagram please have a chat with me over there. I'm loving the conversations that I'm having in my chats in Instagram with you guys. It's, it's like I'm connecting to Otter energy over there with you all rather than octopus energy. Though octopuses are really cool. I've got a book on it. All right, I'm going to stop talking. I will see you in the next one. Bye.